Hello my beautiful Cancerian friends, how are you today? Welcome to all cross watchers, watchers, new visitors and subscribers. Thank you for stopping by. The overall energy for your love reading for new love is communication is a key, new moon in Gemini. So it really is about qualifying people, you know, making sure that you're on the same page. Okay, let's see what we have for our beautiful Cancerians. I have four planets in Cancer, so I have Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, and Uranus. Okay, let's see. So the first card out of the deck, Cancer, is your card. Look at you, Three of Cups. You want to be with someone. A little bit of, I wonder what's going on with this camera. Oh, well, okay. So what we see here is that in the past, you were best friends with your lover. The Page of Pentacles is showing us that you may meet a Virgo, could meet a Cancerian, but you're going to take small steps. You want somebody who makes plans, who is anxious and excited about life in general. We have the Hermit card. Right now, many of you have been alone for a while, and we do have Venus coming up in Virgo. But you're really on the search for answers, but you feel a bit like a fish out of water, a mermaid out of water. I really have this, you know, there's a lot of energy around you, Cancer. You know, the ships are circling the lighthouse. The lighthouse, you are the lighthouse. And so what we see here is that your nurturing energy really attracts people. Right now, your love interest or love interests because you have more than one, people who have their eye on you, uh, find you to be exceedingly attractive. They, think, they feel very much that you look good, that you smell good, that you present yourself beautifully. You, they like the way you dress. They like the way that you have this very serene sense of self-confidence. In your heart space, you want to make a judgment call, you want to move forward, or you want to end something. But what I'm seeing here is that for most of you, you really want to make a decision. You want to be married, or you want to be in a marriage-like relationship in which there's a lot of stability. Again, Virgo energy. You're attracting a Scorpio, a Virgo, a Virgo, a Virgo. Um, you know, this page of pentacles energy is all about sort of daily life. So I feel that the person who's coming into your life will be a very dear friend to you and may even be someone that you've known. Um, it's This is all about building a legacy together. The judgment card is also release some, releasing something, you know, letting something go. It, what's hidden that other people don't see is that you are a lot of fun. Cancer, <laughs> you guys are a lot of fun and people have a tendency to limit cancer to being very emotionally and very emotional and very motherly. But look at Spirit is saying, make a passionate choice, release everything else and find your stability in love. So Spirit is really saying that you have to give up the burdens we have the Ten of Wands that just came out that you need to give up the burdens by the end of, you know, this week. It is a weekly reading. However, it does. It is also timeless. So what Spirit is advising you to do is find your happiness, find your mojo, but you have to do it with someone who has shared values. So we have the Four of Wands is a fire sign, could be Aries, Eight of Wands is Sagittarius, uh, the Ten of Wands is also Sagittarius energy. And the Ten of Pentacles, again, a lot of Virgo energy for you, Cancer. A lot. Very, very compatible sign that you have with Virgo. Very good sign. Okay, so that energy is good. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Tell us something about this friendship element that Cancer has contacted, like in their love life. What is it? A new beginning with an old friend. Okay. New beginning with an old friend. Now, for some of you, it will be somebody new or someone that you meet through friends. I would say if you're looking for new love, go to vacations, go to parties, go to barbecues, whatever's going on socially, get out there because we see you with this beautiful new beginning in the recent past. Ooh, the ace of coins. 
a relationship of value. The Ace of Coins is also known as the Engagement Ring when it is paired with the Three of Cups. So what we get here is a new beginning in which you could become engaged, okay? This is obviously when we have 78 cards in the average tarot deck. This combination is a very rare combination. It is needed for engagement though. We have, so you have a new beginning coming. For some of you, you've been engaged or newly engaged or you're about to become engaged. And I don't think you see it coming because you have your back turned. You're like looking the other way, Cancer. Okay. This, the Queen of Swords says that, you know, you have, you're just, there's been somebody that you feel you should cut out of your life. Uh, some of you might be, you know, resistant to the concept because we have the Ten of Wands down here. But what we're seeing here is this energy of clarity that you have. You're also moving slowly. Another Virgo card. You are manifesting. Look at this new love. It came right off the top like a storybook. I love it. All right. So you're bringing it in. You're putting the energy out there. The energy that you're putting out there is you. Look at that. Just being you. And that is a Cancerian Queen. So you may be attracting someone else who's very nurturing. I'm getting the person that's coming in for you at this time. Could have a lot of Cancer, Virgo, planets, or Earth sign water. But we see that you're in this energy of the Queen of Cups is how you see the situation going forward. But, you know, you're going to hold out. You're sitting on top of the lighthouse until the right boat comes along. You are not splashing down until the right moment. So tell us something about the future. The Wheel of Fortune turns in your favor. Nice energy. We also, oh my gosh. So that's also Sagittarius energy. It's also the planet Jupiter, you know, just really shining brightly on you uh, and giving you a lot of good luck. We also have Jupiter moving back and forth into uh, Pisces. And so when it returns, it will also be very complimentary to you by the end of the year. Four of Swords energy, for many of you, you're taking time out to rest, to heal, to relax, to not really worry too much about anything. Uh, it looks like you've been working way too hard. It looks like there's a lot of stress here, Cancer. So let's see what we have for the Nine of Pentacles. Let's see. Why do people see you this way? They see you as very enthusiastic, a lot of fun, quick to laugh, quick to communicate, fast sense of humor. So you are attracting to somebody, you're, you know, somebody is coming in that is very, like, funny. You have the Ace of Wands twice. You know, your physical relationship is going to be very important to you. You want passion. If you don't have someone who's passionate, who's really, you know, active and wants to get out there and do things, go on vacations, you know, you really want someone who is full of life, full of energy, someone who likes to get up and go, do run and play. I like the energy for you. You know, cancer's a homebody, but you, you like a good adventure also. Okay, seven of coins. So you're highly invested in a decision that you have made about your love life, and that's either letting go of somebody, which is what the card means, and investing in them. So you are wavering between the two energies. The Aries Emperor is coming in here, a very authoritative person. We're seeing that, oh, no, okay, so for many of you, just what I said, you have temperance. Temperance card with the card of a new beginning from someone from the past. That's really what's coming in here. Now, it won't apply to everybody. Once again, it is new love. For, but for those of you who want new love with a past love, it is here for you. We have yet another card of marriage. Taurus energy, Virgo energy, very practical. Your reading is so bent on passion, happiness. You know, it's very wrapped around the joy in your life every day that you want to wake up and you want this beautiful feeling of laughter, of sensuality. You know, I would even go as far as to say very heated, very heated, passionate exchanges. 
And we're really seeing that you want someone who's traditional in their values, somebody who wants to share a home with you, somebody who wants to marry, somebody who wants a stability. That's what I'm seeing. And you are attracting possibly you know, and the Aries Emperor. You're attracting a Hierophant type person with very traditional beliefs. You're also attracting someone who's very good natured, very sweet, very loving, who wants to work things out with you. You know, you're attracting somebody who's exceedingly passionate. You know, keep the, keep the uh, bed linens, you know, keep a fire extinguisher. The bed linens might ignite from the heat that I see between the two of you. The Five of Coins says that you, for many of you, this is a reconciliation from somebody who left you out in the cold for some reason. What is this card about? Why is there this upheaval that Cancer feels worried about? Seven of Cups. So whatever someone did to you in the past came out of the blue. You didn't expect it. You don't exactly know why they would have done it. The Four of Coins, for most of you, you are not letting go of this person. You're choosing to stay attached to them. But they did stab you in the back. Seven of Swords energy. They were not honest with what they did. Devil energy. Oh, this is tough energy, guys. This is really tough. Because here you are with this passionate connection. And this person basically ghosted you, put you out in the cold. They didn't really tell you anything that made sense. We have the Seven of Cups, which is ultimately only one good choice could be made here. And with the Four of Coins, it shows that you are holding on to this person, even though they lied to you, stabbed you in the back, and brought toxic energy in. I'm sorry, guys. I hate to say that, but the cards are, I have to say what the cards mean and what it means to you. We also see you in this healing energy of the Queen of Pentacles. You may be dealing with a fire sign energy who wants to come back, Page of Pentacles, twice. So there could be a slight age difference in the relationship or maturity difference. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You will get what you want here. We have a victory for you. Uh, and the two of coins means that you're not really sure it's going to happen. You could go either way with this, but what we're seeing is that you're going to choose to be in this relationship. The Strength card, oh, that's not surprising, is it? After the Tower card, or I mean before the Tower card. So I see this person returning. They're going to give up the, the ghost. They have been carrying a heavy burden. They have it, they've had their back turned to the burden. The burden is going to break your person down. And it looks as though they're going to have to rebuild that foundation. But it, for those of you who are waiting for a, a lover to return, it does look like you're going to get communication. There we go. There's a chariot card coming back in, rushing back in after a very, uh, a very sudden, unexpected burden, burdensome breakdown and breakup. Four of Cups. There we go. We have our Queen, our Queen of Wands for you. So the energy around this is really so much about you letting go, you know, just letting go of your expectations, letting go of any actions that you could take to let this person get themselves balanced and find their way back to you. I don't honestly think most of you expect this to happen because I have the Tower card. I feel as if for most of you, this will be a surprise. Okay, so let's see what the Shaman's Dream Oracle has for advice for our beautiful Cancer friends and cross -watchers. Let's see what we have here. Okay. We have Dust Devil moving out of stagnation. You are being called to move out of stagnation with the judgment card. Judgment is insisting that you make a decision of some sort. So even if you don't let this person go, what you're being called upon to do is to set up, to insist that this person be present 
in the relationship in, in a way that will be very fulfilling and very healthy for you because in the past they brought a lot of toxicity. So that is something that you're going to do from what I can tell. You're going to insist that you have a proper relationship. Clarity and organization. Okay, so clarity and organization in terms of love means, hey, you know, are we going to go out on Wednesday nights? Are we going to be together Wednesday? Are we going out on Saturday, Sunday? What is our routine as a couple? So it is a beautiful reading, Cancer. It really speaks very loudly to your deep love for someone and, um, and a reconciliation, a reconciliation that appears to make you very, very happy. And for those of you who are completely meeting somebody new, it is a reconciling or a reconciliation of your dreams aligning with what actually unfolds in your love life. So I do see marriage. I do see a, an engagement here. So it's a very exciting reading for your cancer. Thank you. Bye-bye.